This demonstration will explain the fields of the General tab of the Accounts Payable Parameters form in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2009. Prior to the creation of purchase orders and interacting with vendors, you will need to set up all parameters for accounts payable. This setup is crucial to system performance, as Microsoft Dynamics AX will operate in different manners based on the decisions you make in this parameter setup. Each tab of the parameters form will be detailed in separate demonstrations. The Accounts Payable Parameters form is in the Accounts Payable module under the Setup folder. There are four sections within the General tab. We will go into detail on each section. Let's begin with the Default Purchase Type field. Within the Purchase Type field, you want to select a default purchase order type. This type will automatically populate the purchase order type field when creating new purchase orders. Let's review the options and identify the most commonly selected default type. Journals act as a draft and quotations are used as a method to receive a quote. These do not execute real purchase orders. Subscriptions act as a specialized purchase order for repeat ordering of the same materials. Returned orders are for the return of goods from a supplier. Blanket orders are virtual contracts to agree to buy certain materials over time. Since this field drives what the default purchase order type will be, it is most common to select Purchase Order for this field. This option represents the creation of a standard purchase order. This default purchase order type can always be overridden on the purchase order upon order creation. The default return action is a field that exists when creating a purchase order of the type return. The return order is placed when you are sending goods back to the vendor. This user defined code is a means of explaining why the goods were returned. This field will be entered for each of the lines you are creating on your return purchase order. Since this is a default, you can leave it blank and let the user define the exact reason for the return when creating the return purchase order lines. Purchase pools are an optional setup within Purchasing Master Data and are used to categorize, sort, and report different types of purchases being made. These table values are user defined meaning they will be set up for the way your company does business. Remember that within this parameter form, this is asking for a default value that will automatically populate on the purchase order. You first should decide if you will use purchase pools, then decide if it is appropriate to have a default value coming into the field. In the event that you do not choose a default, the purchase pool field can be populated when the order is created. The Prompt when specifying vendor and invoice account checkbox merely serves as an on screen warning message each time a purchase order is created. It is intended to ask the user if they would like the information in the vendor record to be copied into the header of the purchase order. In most instances, you do want the information to be copied as it is in the vendor record, and thus we leave this field unchecked. With the Mark Purchase as Voided checkbox, you are deciding if deleted purchase orders will appear within the Purchase Order History file. When checked, these deleted purchase orders will appear with the status of Voided. If unchecked, deleted purchase orders will not be saved. Most companies want a historical view of purchasing activity, therefore they check this box. With checking the Prompt Quantity Field Value When Posting Documents checkbox, Dynamics AX will recommend a value for quantity fields when posting the documents. The One-Time Vendor Account is optional functionality that can be used when dealing with one-time purchases. It works like this. You will create a vendor that will represent the terms and conditions used for one-time purchases. This will be a one-time vendor template. When creating a new vendor and you designate it as a one-time vendor, 
All fields completed within the vendor template will be copied to the one-time vendor that you are creating, thus easing the time needed to create a vendor for a one-time purchase. Create a vendor record that will be your one-time vendor template and then select that vendor's code within this field. Next is the Purchase Order Prices Amount checkbox. Check this box so that when purchase orders are printed, the prices appear on the purchase order. This box is almost always checked, as we want complete information with the purchase order to be printed so it can be passed along to the vendor for fulfillment. The Tax Exempt Number Requirement field serves to define whether the tax exempt number is required for vendors. First, you should decide whether the tax exempt number should be required for vendor records. If the answer is yes, decide for which countries. If you do not want to require a number, select None, and they can be manually entered for vendors where a tax exempt number is applicable on a vendor by vendor basis when creating them. The Mandatory Tax Group field will, if selected, require that all new vendors have an associated tax group defined in the vendor master. This tax group will determine when and how much sales tax is paid to the vendor. Select this option to use Belgium Validation of Payment ID. This option is only available if the configuration key for Belgium is selected. This concludes field information for the general tab. Please view the other Accounts Payable Parameter demonstrations for information on other tabs.